These small and big decisions that people made before we got here made us possible. Broadway star Leslie Odom Jr. came to me hoping to learn about his mother's father, a man named Benjamin Nixon. As a child, Leslie spent a good deal of time with Benjamin. But even so, his grandfather and this entire branch of his family tree was shrouded in mystery, due in no small part to his grandfather's colorful character. My grandfather, how to describe him, man? First gun I ever saw was on my grandfather's nightstand. Mm -hmm. And uh, he saw me see it, and he didn't hide it. And there was, uh, <laughs> there was a different woman. You know, we'd, we'd go over his grandpa, and we'd you know, meet whoever the nice lady was. That's why I needed the gun, because yeah. <laughs> somebody's husband going to come in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So oh, there was... Benjamin, he was a player. Oh, yeah. yeah. Granddad uh, enjoyed his life, I think. While Benjamin may have been open about weapons and romance, his roots were another matter entirely. Leslie told me that he knew absolutely nothing about the deeper origins of the Nixon family. Even so, he and I were both surprised when we found Benjamin's father in the 1925 census for Brooklyn and saw where he came from. Ben Nixon. Lodger, black, 25, nativity, South Africa. Occupation, chef. Your great-grandfather was born in South Africa. Wow. Now, I know you saw Roots, and one of the reasons people do this show is to find out where they're from in Africa. But I just told you where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right. You're from South Africa. That's great. There was still a mystery here. When Leslie's great-grandfather came to New York, South Africa was a part of the United Kingdom. Yet we found no records in either South Africa or in England showing Benjamin leaving his country. And we could find no record of his arrival in America. So how did he get here? We uncovered a tantalizing clue in the crew manifest for a ship that arrived in New York in November of 1920. Discharged seaman named B. Nixon, assistant steward, age 23, nationality British. Now, Leslie, we can't be sure, but this could be your great-grandfather, Benjamin Nixon, mm. arriving in the United States as a ship's crewman. Mm -hmm. This is the only record mm -hmm. that even got close to being a, the possibility of registering the arrival of your great-grandfather sure. into the United States. Sure. The fact that this man is listed as an assistant steward would fit your great-grandfather's reported job as a chef in the 1925 census we saw, because ship stewards help prepare and serve meals to passengers. And if Benjamin was indeed a crewman on a ship, that would explain why there were no immigration records for him. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to get back on that ship, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. If this is he, he chose to stay. Wow. What's it like for you to learn this? You know, it opens up that, that door in your imagination, mm -hmm. um, literally and figuratively, you know, because you're just, you, there's lots to imagine. And then it opens up a door uh, for real places and real real sites, real people to meet. Um, it is a real reimagining of self. Discovering the stories of our ancestors is a transformative experience, changing the way we see ourselves, our families, and our shared history. To see more incredible stories, click here. <laughs>